Hello gamers, I am back with a surprise review. It's been a while since we reviewed a game. And this game is Call of the Sea. A PG Lovecraft puzzle game is how I like to refer to it. It came out in 2021. It's on all Xbox consoles and PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. So it's really available. And of course Steam. So don't worry PC elitist, you still get it all. Now, this game is definitely out of my wheelhouse because it's a puzzle game and I usually avoid those but I needed a break from the action and usual grind of all the other games so I gave it a try especially when it definitely was upfront about being Lovecraft inspired and I couldn't help but try this out and if you're say love your Lovecraft but would like to see well as you can see here colors because most Lovecraft games have to be dark brooding mysterious and everything is black and gray and dark and, you know reminding us that Lovecraft viewed anything foreign as scary and dangerous which is also kind of why sometimes I feel that Lovecraft is better to be interpreted as opposed to actually read reading the original text especially as we don't want to talk about the cat's name we know the cat's name let it go yeah product of its time so having the ability to experience art and films and video games created by those inspired by Lovecraft can be sometimes more enjoyable, in my opinion, and right off the bat I was like, wait, there's colors. This is a vibrant game that, as you can see by the floating bits, and you'll see coming up, uses the Unreal Engine, and man, they really show off the Unreal Engine's ability to have things floating. Any excuse to have things floating. That even my kids commented on that. And yes, this is a game you a Lovecraft game you can play with your you can, well, you can't play with, but you can have them there watching you play and maybe seeing mom or dad get upset and frustrated at the game can be a little, you know, bonding experience as you know, like, oh you get upset too. It's like yes, yeah, I have to hold, uh, quiet quiet I know I know we're 45 minutes into this puzzle but I'll figure it out All right. five minutes later Time to gather my first I'm, I'm just gonna look it up guys when you have a problem sometimes mm -hmm. you have to ask for help I think I've overpacked. and that's okay and that is a great lesson to learn that yes sometimes even parents with decades of video gaming experience will need help what was I thinking when I brought all but these damn it I want to get to the rest of the story and that was the thing I found it's a simple story much like Lovecraft stories are but Lovecraft I likes to, to complicate things simple things and make them sound complicated Thank goodness my opinion bring my here we have a simple story down. that is very relatable and if you have a romantic I side you will enjoy it and I was like, no, this story's getting boring, I'm gonna stop. No, I was like, no, 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 no. These, I'm kind of interested in our protagonist. She's interested in all the other characters that are coming up. I wanna see. And you get that. And guess what? Because this is a puzzle game. Don't worry. There's no traps. There's no jump scares. This is a, like, it's a sweet treat in the Lovecraft world, which I love. It was like, oh. You're inspired to show a more, uh, dare I say, wondrous Lovecraft. side of Lovecraft. I won't go into spoilers because it does. I don't want to spoil the story, but I was like, this is a unique perspective that isn't usually Melvin explored from Lovecraft. It's always, of the oh no, space. we're being transformed into something bad and that is not good, but here it's kind of unique in that, so well, this book. if we don't, if I've the protagonist has a choice culture. between exploring a new future or staying in the present and one could mean a life and the other is a death it's 
really check it out because it's not the normal ooh scary it, 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 it's not scary for you but it's scary for everyone around you that was really the interesting thing I'm, I'm gonna I'm starting to talk about this or I'm gonna start getting away spoilers and I don't want to do that but if you are interested I took about nine hours to complete this game um Maybe I was a little bit too this egotistic and was like, I can solve this puzzle. Well, some of the puzzles, there are simple puzzles and then there are more complicated puzzles. One puzzle I unfortunately forgot to flip a switch correctly. That held me up and that was a nice, like, ah. Double check your work. Always double check your work. And then there was another puzzle that I was like, I looked up the answer and it was, I'm, I'm back at that starting out with algebra it's like all right you've shown me the answer to the problem i now know what x means and equals i still don't understand how you got it but hey i put in the answer i i got the grade moved on to the next level or area and that, that's puzzle games in my opinion that's why i avoided them in the past and now here i am trying to give them a go that and now for level divine's design and puzzles uh levels were small but there's always a sense of verticality so that's where it got bigger and sometimes that meant with any sort of backtracking or more ex physically expansive puzzles again having to engage switch and stuff it's kind of like <sighs> man i'm you the game gave me a run button but i'm not moving that fast and this is a big air quotes level so that was sometimes a little bit tedious especially if you made a mistake and had to go back and correct it so that was my only real complaint that i could see as a negative because it's like oh do i really need to walk up there to flip a switch yes yes you do and please make sure you do it in the right order or else back to the bottom or to the middle or to the top to start it all over again that is how puzzle games go and i was but that was the negative i liked that it had a save feature you could save at any time for the most part each chapter i was able to find all the extra bonuses for the most part i think only in one chapter i was like oh you only found 87 percent of easter eggs and whatnot so completing this game if you're a completionist in that regards relatively easy and of course it's nice that you can go back to the chapter and play it again so there's no real sense of new game plus ending was interesting and I, there was definitely feels like game developers said like this is our main ending we want but here's a second one for just in case you decide to take a different path i enjoyed this game if you like lovecraft but maybe don't want to deal with jump scares or the body horror or maybe dare i say a more positive but mysterious interpretation of Lovecraft? Absolutely, Call of the Sea is something for you. And again, hey, if you have the internet, look up the solution to the puzzles quick and get to the rest of the story. And let me know in the comments below. What do you what do you think of like having a PG interpretation of Lovecraft? Should it only be horror and scary and the cosmos is a constant threat to us? Will Guillermo del Toro ever get to make his hey, At the Mountains hey. of Madness film? Maybe. That'd be really nice. Here. His interpretation of Lovecraft is usually very entertaining and interesting. So, in Comment down below. Does the idea of Lovecraft that is more child-friendly interesting? And the reason I say PG is kind of like Twister. I'm rating this PG for intense puzzle frustration. 
<laughs> but hey. It is an interesting and fun Lovecraft game where you get to see everything and go, ooh, ah, without, you know, any sense of dread. And I like that. It's, it's a fun puzzle game that makes me go, man, there's still room to make new Lovecraft content without being dragged into the hole. It has to be scary. And I think this is great. So please check out Call of the Sea and have fun. But also keep a laptop, phone, or anything with internet access close at hand to help you solve those puzzles. Because this story is interesting enough to get through. It's a moment, Dark Genius. I'm hoping your gaming is fun and adventurous. And I'll catch you next one. Bye.